So we'll start the council meeting. I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.04 p.m. Next, I will proceed with roll call. Please note that Councilman Ashton Fowler will not be in attendance this evening as he had previously informed me of a work related trip scheduled for today. Ashton's probably living his best life. Invocation was uh, provided to us by Pastor B, that's Pastor Brian Tong. And now let's um, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Mayor Holly, do you have a report for us tonight? Just one thing, Madam President, so bring to the people's attention. It's very important to our nation. October is Head Start Awareness Month, established in 1965. Ronald Reagan, president in 1982, presented a proclamation bringing awareness to Head Start. This program continues to help millions of low class income and preschool children and their families. And it's been very important to our community. Whereas Head Start is a national federal funded early childhood development program established in 1965 that serves children and families whose purpose is to help children achieve their full potential. Head Start focuses on children's language development, early literacy, social skills, and gives their parents the skills in becoming the child's first and best teachers. Head Start is uh, committed to the development of each child and provides uh, a, pre a preventive and early in uh, in <coughs> intervention services to children and families regardless of their income or their status. The city of Silicaga recognizes that the need of children and families in Silicaga must be a top priority and encourages all parents of preschool age children to participate in literacy activities. I, Jim Hogan, Mayor of the City of Silicaga, do hereby proclaim October as Head Start Awareness Month, signed and sealed this day, 2024. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mayor Hogan. I have a motion to adopt or amend the agenda. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Any nays? I have a motion to approve minutes of the special work session held September 11, 2024. Get a motion? Motion. Any second? Second. second. I heard Laura. All in favor? Yeah. Any nays? I had a motion to approve minutes of regular work session held September 17, 2024. Motion. I need a second? Second. Any nay? Oh, I'm sorry. All in favor? Yeah. Any nay? Okay. I had a motion to approve minutes of the regular city council meeting held September 17, 2024. Need a motion to approve? Motion. I had a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Any nays? Any nays? I need a motion to approve the minutes of the regular work session held October 1st, 2024. Motion. I need a second. Second. Okay. Um, Lee first, Nate second. All in favor? Yeah. Any nay? I need a motion to approve minutes of the regular city council meeting held October 1st, 2024. Motion. Right. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? All right. So no old business, on to new business. I need a motion to approve resolution number 139-2024 to obtain professional engineering services for street servicing 2024 to 2025 for paving along various streets throughout the city approved by the mayor and city council as under underlined in the attached exhibit A project task phase one design, plan preparation and bid procurement totaling 149,000, 5.5% of estimated construction costs, $2,710,139. Project has phase two construction engineering and inspection CE and I services, 9% of construction contract amount, city clerk treasurer to read resolution number 139-2024. Is there anything additional to add? Are you guys good with um, not reading that resolution? I'm good. All right, I need a motion to approve. Motion. And a second? Second. 
All in favor? Yay. Yay. Any nays? <coughs> All right, next item, I need a motion to approve resolution number 140-2024 to declare various computer equipment and software from city inventory at surplus property and authorized disposal on govdeals.com, online option, or other appropriate means. City clerk treasurer to read resolution number 140-2024 into the meeting minutes. If there's anything to add. There's nothing to add. That's how we get without um, discussion. All right, I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Yay. Any nays? Okay. I need a motion to approve resolution number 141 2024 to amend the waste collection and disposal services contract with Green Life Contract Environmental GFL to authorize an additional of an extra collection day for the Autumn Trace Apartment Complex effective November 1st, 2024. City Clerk Treasurer to read resolution number 141 2024 into the meeting minutes if there's anything additional to add. <laughs> Are we okay without having those meetings read? Yep. All right, minutes read. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yay. Any nays? Okay. I need a motion to approve the hire <coughs> of West Pressure Washing to pressure wash the Marble City Cemetery brick pillars totaling seven hundred and fifty dollars funding for Marble City Cemetery Fund. Motion. Okay. Second. 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 Lord, Nate, y'all are racing. Lord. <laughs> All in favor? Yay. Yeah. So who was the second? It was Lore. I'm having a, trying to make it even. All in favor? Yeah. Yay. Any nays? Okay. I need a motion to approve the purchase of a 2024 F-250 from Silver Sports State Contract Pricing for the fire department totaling $63,036. This does not include outfitting, lighting, and graphics, funding, and <coughs> capital improvement reserve. I need a motion to approve. Motion. I need a second. Second. Uh, I have a question real quick. I thought we had already approved all this, like was said in the work session when I asked about the desk. Are we reapproving it? Remember when we had the um, the budget meeting, when we approved the capital, we wanted them to come back and make sure that the prices okay. didn't change. So we already approved the items and we already approved the dollar okay. amount. So if the dollar amount changed, then of course we have to right. basically reapprove. We just want to make sure the money is what we're approving. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Because you know how sometimes they'll put those bids in and then they change and we just want to make sure yeah. we know what's coming out. Okay, sorry, I just wanted clarification. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All in, and he's going to have to come back too with the graphics because yeah. that price may change as well. All right. So all in favor? Yay. 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 Any nays? All right, approved. I had a motion to approve the 2003 Crimson 104 Aerial Reimbursement Phase 2 for the fire department totaling $80,000. Funding from Capital Improvement Reserve. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? Okay, approved. I had a motion to approve the replacement for all four trucks, bay door, track, motor, and ancillary ancillary equipment at fire station one totaling forty two thousand four hundred thirty dollars funding from capital improvement reserve i need a motion to approve motion and a second second all in favor yay any nays okay approved i need a motion to approve the shop to purchase an eco dual gas ac service station from hoffman totaling nine thousand six hundred forty dollars and fifty nine cents Funding from Capital Improvement Reserve Fund. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? Okay. I need a motion to approve the shop to repair the shop to repair the diagnostic scanner totaling seven thousand seven hundred forty one dollars and seventy seven cents. Funding from Capital Improvement. Motion. I need a second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Yeah. I had a motion to approve the installation of rolling doors for the shop totaling $8,761. Funding from Capital Improvement Reserve Funds. I had a motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? I had a motion to approve reimbursement for overpayment to Jason Alexander Pickett case number MC22-0000877 totaling $15. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? 
And a motion to approve reimbursement for overpayment to Tiffany Brett Love, case number MC20-0000-7750. Totaling $213 and a motion to approve. Motion. Second, a motion from Lee Perriman. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Any nays? And a motion to approve the request from the Brown Bag for an off-premises only retail beer and wine license located at 1194 South Highway. And a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Any nays? And a motion to approve the Wharf Casual Seafood Restaurant for 020 Restaurant Retail Liquor License located at 40690 Highway 280, Silicon, Alabama 35150, pending approval from ABC Board and all required documents. Motion. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? I have a motion to approve a street light on Brickyard Road totaling $11 per month. And a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nay? Approved. And a motion to approve a street light on South Norton totaling $11 per month. I need a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nay? Approved. And a motion to approve the purchase of 16 Dell computers to replace outdated city computers totaling $27,000. $251.52 includes computers, $20,211.52, and labor, $7,040, funded from Capital Improvement Reserve Fund. Is a motion to approve? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Yay. Any nays? Okay. Approved. I need a motion to approve administration and finance to purchase office furniture totaling $25,000, fund funding from Capital Improvement Reserve Fund. Need a motion? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. Nay. And it's not that I don't want them to have furniture. Uh, they need good furniture, but I think we can find it less than 25000 That's okay. All right. So we got a 3-1 approved. All right. Next item. I need a motion to approve payroll for the month of September 2024, totaling $571,581.60. need a motion? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yay. All right, any nays? Right. Approved. I had a motion to approve fiscal year 2024 accounts payable invoices totaling $194,344.69. I need a motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Any nays? Okay. Approved. I had a motion to approve fiscal year 2025 accounts payable invoices totaling $72,145.33. I need a motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Approved. All right. Now it's time for anyone to address the council. No action will be taken at this meeting. We ask that you please come to the microphone and state your name and address for record prior to addressing the city council. And guys, so we are going to um, go into an executive session out of, after this, and I don't think we will be returning. We have well for hold on. I, we won't be returning to discuss any further business. I should ask. We're returning to adjourn. I love, I love the look on Nate's face when I got it walked up here. I'm not here to jump on anybody this time. <laughs> Usually when I talk to one of you, I get, I'm mad about something. What I wanted to tell you, I was asked to come up here by the organization of Fairbanks of Avondale to let you know what a huge step you've taken in handling destroying that whole population. Every step is a good step. So you guys did a good deal. And we just want you to know that we appreciate it. And that it's going to, uh, we're going to get more municipalities involved. The county's already involved. And uh, hopefully we can solve the situation. The, to let you know where your money goes, Female dog voucher is seventy one dollars. Girl dogs of Avondale buys those at seventy one dollars and puts them out in the community at twenty five dollars. So people who can't afford the vet bills and all that, 
but take good care of the animals. Can't afford to do it because of what you did, y'all bought a whole month, a month of vouchers to put out there. So, as a group, we just wanted to say thank you. Well, thank you guys for everything you do. I mean, we're, we're, I'm telling you, I couldn't be more proud of this last budget cycle. We were able to um, allocate some money towards that. I mean, we were able to increase and get the, um, what was it, the American Rescue Fund, get that back kicked off. So we were able to do a lot of things just because of the planning and all the hard work that we put into this last year. So thank you guys for everything. And I'm, I'm just proud to be able to be a part of all these new things that are here to come. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else who would like to address the council? Also, too, I wanted to add something. I got a few phone calls, um, again, back about the um, police cars and things that um, we brought. And I had some people to ask me some questions on why did you vote for them? And they were this amount and that amount, which um, some of the amounts that people were saying to me, they were extremely high. They were, they were incorrect. So all this stuff is public knowledge, and I'm sitting here holding um, a list of capital items that we as a council have approved along as everything that um, we put in place as far as police cars, um, things for the police department, fire department, recreation, and street. So the way we were able to plan and do these things is, I don't know if everybody remembers when we first agreed to the um, sales tax increase, we allocated money to, towards certain departments. And in that allocation, it was up to the department heads discretion on what they want to spend that money on. So a lot of those things came out of that money and it was based on the department head's discretion because we put people in place and we respect their recommendation and you know, we let them buy the things they need to take care of their department because they are the ones that are in place. So anytime you have some questions on what the city did or how much we spent on something, this is um, public knowledge, this is your money, these are taxpayers' dollars, you can call down here to City Hall, you can get these numbers. Or, you know, just like some people did, you know, just call me, I'll, I'll tell you. Sometimes I'm not always right, but we can go to the finance department and get the correct calculations. But um, again, we all worked really, really hard over these past few months. Like we did a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. We put things where they're supposed to be. And this is why we were able to do these things that we were able to do this, um, this budget cycle. So hopefully you guys can be proud when you see the new cars, when you, we do get the new fire truck again, we're gonna be a, we're in a position to where else I think we're gonna be able to pay cash for that when it comes in 27. So it's a lot of things happening. We were able to buy some new um, equipment for the street department. You see the things that are going on down there with your new playground equipment, that's gonna add a quality of life to the city. So just remember, you know, we do work here for you guys. We want you guys to know what's going on. Some of you can't make it to the um, council meeting. I get it, some people work at night, you have kids, you got games. If you call me or one of the council members, as long as you give them your name and address, you know, your contact information, give them the question. I don't mind reading it. I'll read the question out and I'll answer it. So that way you can go back and watch the minutes and see your question being answered. We want to make sure everybody's heard. We don't want to leave anybody out. But we also just want to make sure everybody have um, the right information. Yeah, the so this is, um, again, an exciting time. We just um, passed this. We got a paving list. Like, we're going to do payment next year. Like, this is a really exciting time. So. I'm hoping that all 2025 will be telling everybody to pardon our progress. Does anybody else have anything? All right. So, did you want to say something? Okay. All right. <laughs> now our city attorney, um, Edwin B. Livingston Jr. has advised council of a need to go into executive session to discuss certain matters for which an executive session is allowed pursuant to section 36-25A-7A7 Code of Alabama 1975 as amended. If you, if you are to take action relative to Mr. Livingston's comments, I will read the letter from City Attorney Edwin B. Livingston Jr. recommending and detailing the open meetings at section allowing such executive session. Livingston will suggest going into executive session. I don't think I'm supposed to read this part, am I? I'm not. All right, I need a motion. Um, on the recommendation from city of, well, you gotta read it. Come on, we're going to first. You want me to read it? Yes. I'm sorry, I, I think, think I'm very good reader. I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm sorry. All right, so I'll go ahead and read the letter, not Mr. Livingston. All right, dear council members, pursuant to section 36-25A787 Code of Alabama 1975 as amended, I'm writing this letter to inform this council that one of the matters to be discussed in the regular meeting of city 
Council, which will be held today, involves a discussion involving matters of trade or commerce in which this body is in competition with private individuals or entities, other Alabama governmental bodies, or other states or foreign nations. It is in my opinion that this council should pass a motion allowing an executive session to be conducted for the above stated reasons. Sincerely, it would be Livingston Jr. Motion. All right, and a second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. 